Hi, good morning everyone. Today we will be discussing about OBAE and uh, and we will just take a look at uh, OBAE how it looks like. Okay, so so first of all, uh, I think we need to know about the OBAE. So what is OBAE? So OBAE stands for Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. So it is also one of the reporting tool. So how it differs from the other reporting tools is that uh, this reporting tool uh, is basically give you some analytical information. So what I mean, mean to say is, uh, let's say if it is an analytical report, so by seeing, by looking at the report, you will get, you will be in a position to decide something based on the data displayed on the report and you will be in a position to decide so which will help you to make a decision so that kind of reports we will be calling it as uh, analytical reports so here our OBAE will uh, by using the OBAE we will be creating the analytical reports okay now uh, coming to OBAE so I will not be dis discussing deeply on the architecture of the OBAE but basically we will be discussing about the basics of architecture so which we which will help us to understand more about uh, how obae works and what is obae and all uh, i mean what are the servers that are involved in the obae and how the data flows between them so this is the primary thing that you need to know so because uh, every time whenever we are creating a report so you need to have a holistic idea of all the OBIE, how it works. Then only you will be able to create some analytical information out of it. Okay, so basically coming to architecture. So, so we have one main server, so which is called BA server. BI server. So this is uh, this is just like uh, uh, heart of OBI, and we have one more server, which is called BI presentation server. BI presentation server. Okay, uh, let's move this to here, and and we have databases, correct? Here, a stack of databases. Either it can be a database or data warehouse. or excel files etc okay. now uh, this is a this is the main main core of the application which i am going to explain now bi presentation server uh, is is the place where the user will create your reports or a dashboards anything so whichever uh, the end user will be able to see those things will be handled by bi presentation server okay assume that uh, we have created one report the, a basic kind of report which will display a single table with all the values inside it okay now that report will be developed and by using the BA presentation server now now if you see the report right so that is just a metadata of the tables and columns so those tables and columns will be called as metadata so what happens is when you request something from the uh, data warehouse so a request will be sent to the report whichever we have created that request 
will be sent to BI server. BI server and BI server will read that metadata and based on the request it will send the information to database and based on the request received from the BI server database will give the result back to BI server and in turn BI server will will give the information to BI presentation server and now BI pre presentation server will 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 render the report in the format of the user in the format uh, what the user is expecting let's say it can it might be a basic table or it might be a chart it might be a pie chart now this is the basic things but now what is going on here so basically right so <coughs> uh, uh, when we create a report that report will will consist of a logical sql so which will tell you like uh, uh, these are the columns that we need from this table this metadata table okay now that that logical sql now that logical sql will be sent to bi server and bi server will use the repository file repository but it will use the repository file and based on the configuration that have been that have been developed under repository it will for bi server will form a physical query physical sql and and this physical sql will be sent to database so database uh, i mean uh, it, it's just like uh, let's say you are fetching an employee name and employee number so select select employee name employee number from employee table so that kind of query a physical query will be sent to the database and database will will give the result and that re result will be sent back to bi server again <coughs> and bi server uh, will will take the result from the database and based on the logical sql it will send the information to ba presentation server and ba server presentation server will convert in in will render the report in uh, in any kind of view okay and now uh, okay now with this uh, you might have understood that complete flow how how a report will be, will get executed in OBA environment okay now let's say we we are scheduling a report so how how will the how will this scheduling thing works so basically we will be having one more uh, server which is scheduler bi bi scheduler so which will store the information of all the scheduling information and whenever a report is scheduled let's say uh, every friday it should run a report at this time and it should send a uh, mail notification to this address so those information will get stored in the bi scheduler service server and a service will be running on top of it so that uh, whenever the uh, that it triggers uh, bi scheduler will send will send the request to bi server and uh, and and that report will get executed and it will be sent to respective recipient okay and now coming to the repository so repository is nothing but a file so which will be again developed by using administration tool ba administration tool ba admin tool we can call it as 
so this bi admin tool will be used to create a repository so in in later classes we'll be creating this repository file and we we are going to deploy this repository in the bi server so that whenever a request uh, is being uh, sent sent from the bi presentation server it will use the repository file and based on the configuration which is there in the repository it will form a physical query and that physical query will be sent to the database and work and and why and continuously okay <coughs> um, uh, this is the basic flow uh, how OBA will work uh, 